Hi wonderful human beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan content and tips to help you live well. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious sweet potato cassava tortillas. They're made with only three ingredients and they're really great for lots of different diets. They're vegan, they're also gluten free, grain free, paleo, and oil free. And it's an awesome way to make tortillas at home. It's kind of a fun project and it's very therapeutic because you have to really you know, knead the dough. These tortillas are so good. I've actually been flying through them and I only have one more left, which I'm probably going to eat with my dinner tonight. To make our sweet potato tortillas, we definitely need some sweet potatoes, so I went ahead and roasted mine in the oven until they were completely soft all the way through, peeled the skin, and then just pureed it in this food processor until I got this really nice, smooth paste. Next, we're gonna transfer our sweet potato puree into a large mixing bowl and start to mix it with our cassava flour. We're using cassava flour because it's gluten-free and it's also grain-free, which means it's friendly for any paleo people out there, but it's very similar in wheat flour to texture, so it's an awesome alternative. And we're gonna combine that with just a little bit of baking soda to help the texture as well. Start to mix it in a bowl with a spatula until you get a nice workable dough and just keep mixing until all of the flour disappears and it's evenly distributed with the sweet potato. Now you're gonna roll out a baking mat or something non-stick, it could be parchment paper as well, and sprinkle it with just a little bit of extra cassava flour so that nothing sticks. Plop your dough onto the mat and then just knead it for a few minutes until all of the flour disappears and your dough is completely workable. When your dough is ready, divide that into either eight or 10 pieces. I found that eight was the perfect amount for me. And then take one of those pieces and we're gonna turn that into a tortilla. Roll one section into a round ball and then we're gonna start to roll that out between two pieces of parchment paper. And you can use a rolling pin or like I'm using an olive oil bottle. Whatever you have around the house will definitely work. But make sure that you sandwich it between two pieces of parchment paper because this is gonna be very, very delicate. Once you have that rolled out into a perfect circle, Plop that onto a hot frying pan, and you can do this with or without oil if you're using a non-stick pan. And then once you're able to kind of move that around the pan, you know it's ready to flip. Cook it on the other side for an additional few minutes, and then that's it. You have your sweet potato tortilla ready to go. I like to keep my fresh tortillas wrapped up in a nice towel to make sure that they stay warm while I'm preparing the food or whatever I'm about to eat it with. You can enjoy them right away if you'd like because they have such a great texture and you can make tacos, burritos, tostadas, whatever you like to make with tortillas, you can make with these as well. They're also great to make in advance if you want to store them in the freezer and make a batch for Taco Tuesday or Thursday or any day of the week. Let me know down below what you guys think of the recipe videos. I know I used to do them so much before and I haven't done one in a very long time. So let me know what you think, what you want to see. The full recipe for these sweet potato tortillas will be linked in the description box below. So make sure you check that out if you want to make these at home. And if you make them, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at VeggieKin so I can see your delicious sweet potato recreations. I'm off to go have this for dinner and I will see you in another video very soon. Mwah. <laughs>